Hello Capricorn, this is your weekly reading for July 16th through the 23rd, Tuesday to Tuesday. First we're going to start with my Vampire Oracle cards and we're going to see what messages okay, we have for Capricorns before we even begin the reading. We have Eternal Youth, Energy, Newness, and Vitality. Very, very positive card. So there may be some new beginnings coming in, new energy coming in, vitality. Everything seems to be um, renewing itself with this new full moon that we got going. So let's uh, begin the reading. And let's see. What do Capricorns expect to be happening? This full moon of the 16th through the 23rd. What can Capricorns expect to be happening? On this full moon in Capricorn, from the 16th to the 23rd, the week of July 16th to the 23rd, Capricorn, Capricorn energy. Okay, what can Capricorns expect to see happening this week? What do they need to know? What do they need to look out for what can they expect to be coming in or happening in their current situations or capricorn full moon in capricorn okay let's get started decisions decisions capricorns Okay, so some of you, um, some of you are very, very stressed out, okay? Some of you are very, very stressed out. There's a lot of arguing going on, a lot of disputes going on. Definitely feeling that energy of just not being content in a situation. Okay, a little bit of loss of focus as well. It's kind of like your mind is just swimming with so much going on that you're really not sure what to do. For some of you, um, for some of you, there's that would have to do with a third party, unfortunately. Now, a third party could be someone in your relationship or just a friend, someone who's butting in. Um, does it necessarily have to be in your relationship as far as an affair going on? For some of you, yes. For some of you, it could just be somebody who is constantly in your business, constantly wanting to know what's going on, kind of being nosy, putting in their two cents, maybe even getting... Um, involved in your personal matters and kind of creating a rift okay so i do see some of you may be dealing with uh water energy uh, pisces always sticks out to me with uh, the king of cups okay so i'm seeing some communication between you and this person you may be waiting, they may be waiting on you to make up your mind about something. They may be wanting you to take a second chance with them. They may be offering you everything brand new. Let's just start over again. Let's leave all the crap behind. Um, you know, wanting to start all over again. Right now, they're, I mean, I'm, I am seeing that you are kind of satisfied where you are at the moment for some of you. Some of you may have um, decided, you know what, I'm I'm actually pretty good right now. I'm single or I'm uh, separated from you and I'm actually doing better than I was before. And so some of you, for it's going to take a lot of convincing on their part to convince some of you Capricorns to want to get together or to want to move in together or to come back into a relationship because you really are doing better. You're finding yourself, you're um, financially, you're doing okay. So you're pretty much finding your strength. And so that's got you delayed to where everything that they are wanting to offer you, you're kind of like, you know what, I got it. I got this. I really don't necessarily need you in my life to help me with anything. So for some of you, yeah, you might, you might be 
thinking, you know, I'm better off by myself. Let's just stay friends or let's just, you know, stay separated or live apart for a while and see where things go. I do see that some of you, um, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, they may be holding on to you a little bit too tight not wanting to leave you behind, whereas you, Capricorns, are feeling like, yeah, I can do without you. I mean, you know, I'm, it's cool. We can hang out. We can be together. We can, you know, work things out. But yeah, I'm, I'm good. I don't really, <laughs> don't really want to have to move in. Don't really want or need to have to get back together. So you're playing your cards very, very carefully. Okay, because there was a lot of stuff that went on. And so now you're kind of like, I'm, you know, I'm better off. You're kind of, you're kind of uh, healing. I would like to say healing. I do see some movement for some of you. So they may be offering you, wanting you to move in with them, wanting to move in with you. For some of you, you might be expecting uh, someone to be coming in to visit you. And you're not really sure about what to do about that. You know, maybe they want to come in and just stay with you for a little while or um, something like that, but they definitely are communicating and wanting to offer you love, wanting to offer you a relationship, wanting, you know, let's, let's get together, let's work this out, that kind of thing, okay, and so you are definitely, some of you here are just saying absolutely not, you're walking away, you're choosing to leave everything that they did, it's like they did you wrong, and you're just slamming the door and saying no, for some of you, some of you will be thinking about it. And some of you are just kind of like um, playing your cards very, very carefully. And you're kind of just letting them beg. And But you're good. You know, you don't really, you're not really in that position where you have to have them anymore. You're kind of rethinking. So that really does go along with the card that came out for the beginning of this reading. Which is energy, newness, vitality, eternal youth. So you're kind of, you know... You're kind of in that place where you don't really need to have anybody help you. Your energy, your vitality, you're finding it all, you know, all on your own. And you're doing really, really well. You're getting you're, you're getting back to you and no one else. And that kind of feels good for some of you. So that's where that's where the delays are coming in, where you're just staying separate and choosing to do yourself. Because financially, you're doing pretty good. You're in a position where you can say, I don't really need to go back to that bull crap that was going on. Really, I, I'm finding that I'm doing pretty good on my own. So you're, you know, you're kind of nurturing that healing and you're kind of fighting it now. Even though they want to come back, even though the, they've realized they screwed up. They screwed up and now they thought you weren't going to be able to live without them. But now for some of you, you're doing better without them. So um, let's see. I'm going to pull a, another Oracle card for from my Ravens Oracle deck. Ravens Wand Oracle deck. Okay, so for Capricorn, give us, give us some guidance. What can you tell us about this reading? Strength renewed. I mean, that's what we're talking about, right? Strength renewed. You're, you're renewing your strength. You are doing you. You're, you're like, I am on top right now. I don't need anybody. And maybe you thought you did at some point. Maybe when you were with this person, they thought you needed them so much. They took advantage of you. They were just, you know, putting you on a back burner. And now that, you know, things blew up in their face, You've gone on to renew your strength, to be strong. You no longer need them in your life, and you're figuring that out. So again, yeah, that goes really, really beautifully with the reading and where this energy is going. I'm also going to do a um, angel message. Angel messages for Capricorn, please. What messages do the angels have? What guidance can we give Capricorn? What messages can we give for Capricorn from the angels, please? What messages can we give people born under the sign of Capricorn, please? Any guidance? Guidance for Capricorn energy. What can Capricorn expect 
What kind of guidance can we give Capricorn? Okay, it's just way too many, so I'm going to put that back in. Guidance for Capricorns, please. What can we give Capricorn? People born under the sign of Capricorn? Okay, maybe there's not any messages. I think this reading went really, really well. And, yeah, I'm not getting... They're just going all over. I will give it one more shot. Are there any guidance, any messages further for Capricorn from the Angel deck? Okay, so they said, all right, fine. We'll give you one. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are uh, healing, with which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. That is your message. It's a very beautiful message. So, yeah, I mean, this is all about emotions. It's about healing. It's about, you know, moving forward. It's about having that help from um, your guardian angels to help you release that anger, to help you move forward. You really, I mean, wow, you, you just don't really need anyone right now you can do this if you're still in a position where you're feeling like um, a little bit helpless and you're not sure and you're wondering what the future is going to hold am i going to be able to do this you will get to that place i mean it looks like capricorns are really renewing and finding themselves so i wish you all the luck capricorn and do let me know if this resonates with you like and subscribe to my channel on youtube as well for these readings so that you can continue receiving these beautiful messages. And thank you for watching.